नमस्कार आई एम शुभा मुदगल एंड आई बीन वॉचिंग द पॉडकास्ट ऑन सुदीप ऑडियोज यूट्यूब चैनल and i saw that there were lots of uh, interviews with some of the country's leading audio engineers um one of the questions uh, that i'd like to put to recording uh, experts and to audio engineers is uh, about the recording of the tanpura and how important it is and how one can achieve the best results um as a performer of hindustani classical music um one of the main problems i've had both in recording situations as well as uh, when i'm doing live shows uh, one of the biggest problems is uh, to record tanpura well or to amplify it well it's it's of vital importance that the uh, sound of the tanpura create a beautiful canvas create a beautiful warm sound uh, which becomes the reference against which um the musician which is either his or her voice or whatever instrument they are playing um you know it if it were not required then we could easily take a, a pitch pipe uh take a reference note and then sing to it um as happens in other musical systems but in this particular system it is of vital importance uh that we have the backdrop the Uh, reference of the tanpura right throughout a performance or a recording um and and therefore the sound of the tanpura the timbre and texture of the sound um must actually be presented um uh, as truthfully as possible very often in um, in live performances um people feel that the tanpura is just a sound that sort of encroaches upon the rest of the music and so you either have uh, lots of tanpura in the monitors um but when you hear it when you hear a recording you you uh, have this kind of scratchy metallic sound very very sh- very sharp and uh, almost sibilant uh, and in the background it's really a scratchy whiny sound in the background and even in a lot of uh, uh, recordings that take place in studios for some reason the sound of the tanpura loses its basic warmth and loses its basic hypnotic quality and just becomes this kind of metallic twang or then is pushed back way into the background um of course i've i've had the privilege of working with some leading recording engineers and i've been satisfied as well but it would be very very interesting to hear from all these experts that have been interviewed by sudeep audio uh, about how they think that they that this very very special instrument from india could be captured and could be presented in live concerts um in the best way possible